G'day everyone, welcome to another Mark Makes video. Today's video is going to be making a coffee table. Now as you may have noticed from the title of this video, this is not going to be any ordinary table. I saw a concept of this idea online, and I've just decided to take it further and add my own little touches to it. I asked my dad, who's an architect, to draw this up for me, and so this is what we've got. So the main frame of the table doesn't have a start or a finish, and I'm hoping by the end that parts of it are going to look like they're floating. I'll be explaining a little bit more about this as we go. I hope you enjoy. So here are five lengths of raw pine that I've purchased. They are 90 by 45 mil and they're 1200 long. I'm going to need them to be 45 by 45. So before I get into this project, I'm just going to cut them all straight down the middle in half. I've got a little attachment that I can put on my circular saw and that's going to act as a guard so that I can just run them straight down the middle. I don't need to mark them out or anything and that's going to allow me to cut nice and straight and just make sure that I get them nice and even. So there we have it. 10 lengths at 1200 long. Now they're the right dimensions for this project. So I have here a piece of toughened glass. It's very close to the dimensions. So I'm just gonna modify the design to fit this. It's got rounded edges, which is what I was after. And I think it's gonna work perfectly for the coffee tabletop. So I'm gonna set up my drop saw and start cutting all these pieces to the right length. So I now have all the pieces cut out to the lengths they need to be. I've got these 100mm bugle screws which I'm going to be using to fasten the frame together. I'm going to be pre-drilling the holes just to avoid any cracking of the pine. Okay, so I've lifted this onto the bench and I've also added 45 brackets here. That will just be temporary for now. They're just there to strengthen it and keep it from falling apart while I sand it. So I've given this a quick putty and once that's dry I'm going to give it another light sand. So I have this small sheet of polycarbonate and what I'm going to do is cut that into four pieces with 45 angled cuts and give the edges a sand just to make them nice and smooth. I'm going to use those four pieces to replace these brackets here. So it's going to sit like that and once the plastic's off that should be nice and see-through. So before I attach those though I'm going to give this whole frame a varnish. I don't want to get any varnish spills or anything on these and go from there. Okay, so the table is now touch dry and I'm gonna go ahead and put this polycarbonate on now. I've pre-drilled holes in them all, ready to go. The plastic cover's still on it, so that's why it's kind of cloudy, but I have gone ahead and put this one on already. So there's a piece sitting there, you can hardly see it. I'm really happy with how that's come up, so I'm gonna go ahead and put the other ones on now. And that is project complete. I've finished screwing on the polycarbonate sheets. I've removed the metal bracing, putted up the holes, given them sand and a touch up with the varnish. I've also put on some plastic feet at the bottom just to avoid anything getting scratched. So I've just gotta wait for that to dry and I can move it inside. Thank you. 